الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله عن أبي ذر رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ألا أخبرك بأحب كلامي إلى الله إن أحب كلامي إلى الله سبحان الله وبحمده رواه مسلم إن هذا حديث صحيح مسلم The hadith of Abi Dhar رضي الله تعالى عنه He said Should I not uh, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said Should I not tell you of the most beloved speech to Allah And then he said Verily the most beloved speech to Allah Is subhanallahi wa bahamdihi Is glory, all glory belongs to Allah and praise all glory and praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam used to question and quiz his sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een in order to bring them and deliver the message of Islam wal ilm wa fiqh to them radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and that is from the husn ta'leem and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he his excellent way of teaching salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi and we also see that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from his husn ta'leem from his excellent way of teaching that he began with a question and then he answered the question in order to drive home the point and to bring home the message to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een to bring home to them the ilm al nafiyah that which is beneficial knowledge al ilm al nafiyah and from the we also see from this speech of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we see the affirmation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, that he possesses the attribute of love. Because the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Allah ukhbiruka bi ahabba kalam Allah in the law ahab. In the law ahab al kalam. In the ahabba kalam Allah. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most beloved speech. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam let us know that there is beloved speech to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we can infer from that or what is implied from that is that there is speech which is detested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there are things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and there's things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And from the detested speech of Allah, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when people speak wicked, sinful speech. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in an authentic hadith. This hadith also shows us the importance of a dhikr in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that it's imperative that the mu'min, his tongue, his or her tongue is wet with the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala often benefiting from their time by praising their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.